this side. I think we must have missed it. Or something. I don't know. Kind of wish I could just like Breath of the Wild link my way up here. Ooh, some more corundum. I'll take that. A bean man died, James. What? Dude, the rain stopped and then started again immediately. Rude. Absolutely rude. Okay, let me just see. Can I? I don't think I can, dude. I don't think it's going to let me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're doing it. It's a little steep. It's a little steep, but we're doing it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. They're trying. Okay. Well, that was some progress anyway. Um, now what? I do it from over here? Mm, no. <laughs> well, you made it up here. With your cheaty teleporty ways. Inigo, not so much. Dude, this is too steep. I can't go up here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I believe. I believe. I believe anything I love. Oh, come on. Or, oh, we were making progress for a second. That is a ways down. Eh. Come on. Eh. Oh, oh, almost. Ugh. We're so close, <laughs> but so far. Wait, 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 wait. I could just, eh, eh, yeah, yeah, and then up this rock. Oh, we're we're kind of doing it, kinda. Oh, I think we're gonna run out of real estate here and fall in the waterfall if we ain't careful. Come on, maybe maybe up this edge. Eh. This is really not. This is really not going according to plan. Ah, hi. Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Sort of come up. Eh. I'm climbing. Maybe. Uh, kind of. Uh, wait, this is flatter. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are a good team. Don't you think if we were a good team, you'd be pushing me right now. Get me up this rock. Oh, it's kind of working. Dude, this cannot be the path that they expect you to take, right? Like, this is insanity. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is working. Go, go, go. Oh, it's happening, it's happening! Oh my gosh. Well, I did it. Oh, jeezer. That was ridiculous. Absolutely not the intended path. Cannot be. You are not even sweating. You are good at this. So how did you get up here? <laughs> anyway. Now we just have to... Get across to there. 
Be careful to not get swept away by the waterfall. I think we need to like swim out this way. A little bit. There's something I saw, by the way, that I had in my inventory. It made me so mad that I didn't know I had it or forgot I had it. Um, where was it? Wait, did I put it away? I think I might have stored it. I was storing away. But no, here it is. Potion of brief invisibility. You remember when we were trying to sneak through that courtyard with all those guards? If I had popped this, I could have gone through that courtyard. We wouldn't have triggered that battle that was like 40 freaking guards trying to kill us while we tried to free that guy from the prison. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. Alright. Come on. Come on. Alright. We've made it. I don't know how many dudes are going to be here, but we might be catching them off guard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I can't explain it. Oh, hi. I'm going to break your tusks. I'm gonna get. Why wasn't he attacking me? Was he not bad? Oh dear, I don't think these people were bad. Hold on, we're gonna load that quick. <laughs> I think I just murdered an innocent man. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's an orc. Not a man. I'm going to try to approach this a little differently. If for some reason he still attacks, then I'll have my sword at the ready. But... Are you two coming or what's up? There we go, guys. Hey. This better be good. Yeah, he wasn't evil. We murdered him for nothing. But you know what? It doesn't matter because... Oh, there yeah, yeah. You okay? You looking at? <laughs> you know... Don't talk to me. Oh, man. You actually got hurt from that fall. I'm so sorry. Hey. Need something? Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to talk to I thought I came here to kill a bandit or something. I don't know what I'm doing here, but hi. Good afternoon. What? Hold on. Kill the bandit leader located at Nilheim. Yes. The quest icon's on her. But she's not. What the frick is happening? What what's going on here? Were we misled or something? Why are we murdering her? She's not evil. Hold on. I, I gotta figure this out. We're doing a Google on this one, I think. 
Unit leader Nilheim. Uh. Okay, so there's a bug with this quest. And Okay. All right, all right, all right. So what it said basically was there's a guy nearby here. Like it's kind of hard to see, but somewhere down the road from here, I guess, there's a guy and you talk to him and then the these guards that are acting all nice turn on you and reveal that they're actually bandits. But before that, if you kill them, you can't do the quest with that guy that's on the bridge. And for some reason, they decided, I guess when they made these random bounty quests, they kind of forgot that, so they overlap. So if you do this first, that quest can never happen. But if you wait, then I guess you complete both, or more bandits will spawn and you kill them afterwards. So we have to go down to the road and find some guy and then this quest will actually work properly. I was right. They are the bad guys, but the quest is kind of broken, so... Yeah. So where is this bridge or road or whatever? I think they said bridge. Am I going the right way? I think it's over here, maybe? That's a bridge. Hold on, I want to go the proper way down. I, I still want to know how they expected me to get up here. I guess from over... Hold on. Yeah, I guess if we had any locations down around here, it would have been easier to get up here than what we did, but... <laughs> how do I get to this goddamn bridge? Ah, frick it. I haven't seen that before. Oh. What now? Yeah, all of these guys are gonna be mean the next Need time something. we come through, I guess. Huh? But they also don't care if I steal from them. This is odd. This is very odd. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, whatever, take everything you want. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, it's because of the bugged quest, I guess, but whatever. So technically I could kill all of these people ahead of time. I could do that. Should I do that? I don't know, man. It probably would be easier. Okay, here's the guy with the broken cart. I think this will fix the quest for us. Are they gone? Oh hi. Please help. I can pay you. Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? Uh, sure. My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. Okay. So this is this is the thing. They set up camp in his place. It's just and... across the bridge and up that hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't worry about it. I, I get it now. We probably should have just went ahead and killed some of them to We're close now. I can see the camp. save ourselves the trouble. 
but whatever, it's fine. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll do sword and shield on them. Um, so are you mad now? What's up? Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. Uh, I feel like you're gonna. You picked a bad time to get What? Now he's. Okay, that was a misleading thing. I thought he was a good guy, and it turns out he's also a bad guy. Oh god. Thank you, Billy. Oh, be careful. Oh my gosh, Inigo chopped her head off. You leave him alone. I think she just wants Inigo to not kill him so she can. Come back here, you cowardly, cowardly jerk. Yeah. I feel like it's not too bad. Hi. No. Oh my god. Two beheadings. Two beheadings in this fight. Even when I knew what was happening, I still got freaking punked. Oh boy. Alright. That was visceral, dude. Visceral. <sighs> okay. Well, we did it. What day is it in Skyrim? I think it tells us, right? It is... Turdos. 3.15 p.m. 20th day of sun's dusk, which is the month. 4E201. The fourth era. Year 201. I think is how that works. Sure. Okay. Well, that happened. So loot the rest of these jerks. Turdos. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. Go chop this one's head off and then I chop the other one's head off. Wild dude. Vilia was fighting some herself. Where did. I feel like she killed one over here somewhere, but I don't know where they ended up. Probably off the cliff. Anyway, it's fine. I think we've. We've done enough here. That's probably one of them, actually. Okay, so we did that. Uh, freaking... We can collect the bounty from Enuriel. Wait. Enuriel. Where did we get this bounty from? I don't see... Oh, wait. Way down in the corner. Oh, it's in Riften. Oh, that's right. When we went to see the... Yeah, we went in there. <laughs> we were looking for honey nut treats in the Jarl's palace. And we ended up getting a quest to kill a bounty... Or a, a bounty to kill a bandit leader. Which... I guess as it turned out, the bounty leader is... Or was the guy on the side of the road pretending to be innocent, so... I guess there's that. Oh, sorry. 
I'm not trying to walk around with my sword drawn or anything. Let's turn our bounty in. Getting pretty close to wrapping up here for tonight. Not too much longer. About Ten minutes or so. Uh, it's been an eventful evening. Hello. Welcome to Mistvale. Yes. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. You sound like one of those text speech voices. <laughs> yeah, oh You're boy. welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Uh -huh. What can I do for you? Hello, Yarl. I wish What's your... to hear everything my subjects have to say. What's your stance on the war? While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. And what about Ulfric? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. And what is that? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, really. the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Hmm. Interesting. So that's what really tipped the scales here. It was We're all religion, really. Brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. That's awkward, because I'm actually working for them. But I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. You don't trust me. Interesting. Good journey to you. Thanks. That's all. Don't be angry with me. What are you guys arguing I'm not about? Angry with you. What can I do for you? Tell you what, lover. Oh, come to gloat, have we? Meet me in my chambers the later, the and we can discuss the situation son. in private. Oh. Okay. That was interesting. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. What rumors? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can they assure do kind of act like they run it. False. We are fully in control of everything. Hmm. Sure. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Yeah, sure. Anuriel, as Yar Leila's house car, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Yeah, I'm not interested in anything you have to say. May be present in our city. What do you know? I think I'm good. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, the echo of the sword. Ah. Uh. Anything else we can poke around and look at here? Have we been in here? I don't even remember if we've been in here in this playthrough. This is the Temple of Mara. Hi. Blessings of Mara upon you. Tell me about your temple. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. So I could do that, huh? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh... Not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck 
showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Hmm. I don't think I need to buy one. Don't I already have one? May you return. I feel like we we've been carrying one around, haven't we? Maybe not. Maybe I just saw it when I was going through all the stuff I had in storage, but I'm pretty sure we had one. Gods forgive me for what I have done. Give me the strength to repay my debts in this life. Yeah, and it goes saying a little prayer. Hi. Need something? Which of the eight divines do you serve? I mean, I assume Mara. This temple is dedicated to Mara. Yeah. And the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Marmol. Until oh, I already time. spoke to Marmol. Mar Marmalade. What else you got here? Oh, we have a basement. What's over here first? Bedroom. And we don't want to steal. Nothing exciting. Yes? Thought you might have something to say. All this talk about, you know, marriage and what have you. Good to see you, friend. Yeah, I'm just friend zoned for life, aren't I? Uh about this yes. place. Tell me your thoughts. Just think of all the people who have been married here, hoping for a long and happy life together. Have you ever thought of getting married? <clears throat> um, so, uh, where are we going now? The thought has, has crept into my mind. How may I help you, my son? Alright, let's get out of here. Dad, ah, <laughs> it's just there. Oh, God. I'm you. You're a stranger here, too, huh? Um, what happened to you and Ms. Zonchula? Oh, she must have like started telling me something a long time ago and I never finished talking to her, but sure, what happened? The guild is ridiculous. Okay, give me How the other option. That's not what I clicked. Over a gold coin be considered part of an association. They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rebel. What do you think? Actually, I'm hoping to join. <laughs> I'm not going to tell her that. I agree completely. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Erin, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. I wouldn't bet Since on it. Since we share the yeah. same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Okay. This is what I meant to click. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the That is not represents everything that's wrong with Why is it choosing things I didn't click? Countless officials. I don't I don't I don't everything I can. Well, there is Ingwen Black. I you have Hemi. I don't. Finally, Sibi. Yeah, Frick Sibi. I feel like I already met and hated him. I was adventuring in the depths of the ruins when I was attacked by a massive construct like nothing I had ever seen. When the Colossus struck, Grimsever was knocked from my grasp, and I was wounded badly. Mm. It was only through blind luck that I was able to crawl away from the Dwemer abomination and make my way to the surface. I must have collapsed, because the next thing I remember is Erin standing over me, tending to my wounds. Okay, well, thanks for all Please of that. Be careful. I and you're Erin. Erin. The city really gets to her. Yeah. You're her errand boy, I guess. Okay. Well, that's mildly interesting, I guess. Um, 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for tonight. Uh, we, we got a lot of, a lot of freaking things we can do, but, um, I, this Markarth thing is hanging over me because I can't finish stuff in Markarth because they want me in jail. I got to figure that out. <laughs> I got to figure out what we're doing with that some point but yeah there's a lot of things we can do though a lot not to mention the main quest <laughs> so there's that either way i think skyrim mud crabs are pathetic <laughs> you should see the ones we have in solstice ah you're back they are what really have you discovered scary. nothing leave me alone i am there they all told me that isn't this bad everywhere they scary mud crabs maybe one day i'll venture out and see if she's right all the ones i have met are dull stupid and not very squashy i just want to do an outro maybe you could good night quick one of these days i bet you would just love my home village sounds like a plan yeah, maybe we'll go to Solstein one of these days. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!